The ultimate political duo, Biden and Trump, are squatting up in Fortnite. Can they put their differences aside for a victory royale? Shut it, Obama. I'm the center of attention, so jog the fuck on. Very rude, Donald. Very rude. All right, Biden, enough with the games. What's going on with the Speaker of the House drama? Can you believe they're struggling to find a replacement? I mean, I should have thrown my hat in the ring. They need someone who actually knows how to get things done. Speaker of the House, Donald, you turn Congress into a reality show. Who wants to survive the House of Representatives? You'd have everyone voting each other off the island instead of passing bills. It'd be the apprentice all over again, just with a filibuster twist. Hey, at least my reality shows had ratings. Right now, Congress is more like watching paint dry on CS Pan. But you, you'd probably fall asleep in the first episode, man. How about instead of napping, you go explain this Ukraine war situation to people? Because I don't think half the country even understands it anymore. Well, people understand it just fine, Donald. They just don't want a blowhard like you trying to solve it by sending in a bunch of golf carts to negotiate peace. You think you can just strong arm the world like it's a property deal. Let the professionals handle it. Strong arm? No, Joe. It's called negotiation, something you clearly need lessons in. I'd have Putin on the phone, Zelensky on the other, and we'd figure this out over a round of Trump Tower stakes. Maybe even throw in a membership to Mar-a-Lago to sweeten the deal. Sure, and while you're at it, maybe you can sell peace as an NFT too. You know, like all those digital trading cards you pushed. You're like the human equivalent of a pop-up ad. Oh, you want to talk about scams, Joe? How about Hunter and his uh, little laptop saga? The guy's emails are more viral than Taylor Swift's latest tour announcement, and yet it's all swept under the rug. You should thank your lucky stars. No one's making a Netflix docu-series on it yet. Fuck off, Obama. You're not even meant to be here. And Hunter, man, give it a rest. You're just mad because Taylor Swift wouldn't let you anywhere near her concerts. You probably stand there trying to negotiate with Ticketmaster about your seating arrangement. I want the VIP box, and it better come with golden champagne. Hey, at least he knows how to throw a party. And don't act like you wouldn't take a front row seat if Taylor asked. But speaking of concerts, did you see that Beyonce is doing a Vegas residency now? She's got more power in her pinky than your whole administration. Beyonce? Oh, she's great, no argument there. But at least I'm not trying to turn Las Vegas into my personal palace, like you tried with DC. You're like that guy in The Hangover. Just one big disaster, leaving chaos in your wake. Chaos, I call it shaking things up. But sure, let's talk about Vegas. You probably lose your motorcade at the blackjack table. Meanwhile, I'd be running the casino, making deals and walking out with millions. You're the kind of guy who'd bet on red and roulette and then complain when it lands on black. Yeah, well, I wouldn't gamble away America's future, that's for sure. But you, you probably build a golden slot machine in the Oval Office, if you had your way. Press here to win some tax breaks. Hey, don't knock it till you try it. With all these streaming services, inflation, and AI stealing jobs, people could use a win. And don't act like you aren't sitting there thinking of ways to tax everything from crypto to the iPhone 15 at this point. Crypto? I'm still waiting for someone to explain Bitcoin to me in a way that doesn't sound like a scam. But sure, go ahead, Donald. Why don't you turn Fortnite V-Bucks into a currency and run for president of the metaverse next? You'd fit right in with all the fake buildings and fake people. The metaverse? Yo, I'd run that place like a king. Meanwhile, you'd be wandering around trying to figure out how to open a virtual door. Stick to what you know, Joe falling off bikes and sending out boring policy emails while I stay ahead of the curve. Yeah, well, at least I don't need to live in a virtual world to get things done. You've been stuck in The Sims for the last decade, pretending you're building an empire when it's just pixels and hot air. Oh, come on, Joe. I build real towers. You're just building bridges to nowhere. Maybe it's time you log off and let the real gamers, uh, I mean leaders, take the controller. Well, let me know when you actually make it past the tutorial stage, Don. Meanwhile, I'll be over here, dealing with reality. So Joe, you see what's happening in California? Gavin Newsom's talking about banning Skittles now. The Skittles ban, Joe, they've gone from banning straws to banning candy. What's next, Oreos, M&Ms? At this rate, they'll be banning Taco Bell for causing too much gas. Well, maybe you should lay off the Taco Bell, Don. I mean, you're already full of enough hot air. And banning Skittles 
Sounds like they're just trying to keep people from tasting the rainbow too much. You probably love them just because they're colorful. Adds to the Trump Tower aesthetics. No, Joe, it's about freedom. First, they take your Skittles. Next, they'll be coming for your Big Macs. Where do we draw the line? It's an attack on American culture. Ronald McDonald is crying right now. Oh, stop it, Don. You're acting like they're coming for your personal stash of Skittles. Besides, we've got bigger fish to fry. Like, how are we dealing with the AI takeover? People are scared they're going to be replaced by robots. And you're over here worried about rainbow candy. AI, you don't even know how to work a smartphone, Joe. Don't act like you're the tech guy. But listen, AI is a big deal. Maybe we can get them to replace Congress while we're at it, probably do a better job. Yeah, and maybe an AI could finally write a speech for you that doesn't sound like a WWE promo. But no, we're talking real issues here, Don. AI is taking jobs, and you're still trying to figure out how to install the Fortnite app. By the way, heard Fortnite is back on iOS in the EU. You gonna jump back in, or are your tiny hands too small for the iPhone? Tiny hands, I have the best hands, everyone knows that. Especially Stormy Daniel and Jill Biden. You're a motherfucker, you know that, right? Yup, your mom does love a good fucking. You pig, shut up. Yeah, whatever, anyway, I was watching Fox News the other day and they're saying aliens are real now, can you believe it? Finally, something I've been talking about for years. They didn't believe me when I said we had to build a space wall, I was right again. Aliens, huh? What are you gonna do, Don? Make them pay for the space wall? And no, I don't mean the immigrants you kept confusing with Martians. You got enough wild ideas as it is. Don't start adding UFOs to the list. Next thing you know, you'll be claiming you met E.T. at Mar-a-Lago. E.T. would have been a fantastic guest, Joe. Best dinner conversations. Probably smarter than some of the people in Congress, no doubt. But look, I'm just saying, if the Pentagon is talking about it, I'm going to need to be the first one they call. Could you imagine me leading the charge against aliens? Tremendous ratings. Leading the charge? Don, you couldn't lead a charge to the fridge. Besides, you probably just negotiate a deal with them. Hey, aliens, if you don't zap Trump Tower, I'll give you a membership to my golf court. Listen, Joe, if I can get the aliens to play golf, I'll get them to pay for my space courses, too. Space is huge, Joe. I know the best planets, the best galaxies. I've got friends everywhere, even in alternate dimensions. Sure, sure, Don. Friends in alternate dimensions. Maybe that's where your hairstylist is from, because whatever's happening on your head doesn't exist in this reality. Very funny, Sleepy Joe. Maybe if you woke up long enough, you'd realize the aliens would be more scared of your speeches than our nukes. One minute of you stuttering and they'd head back to their home planets. Hey, at least I'm not gonna build a laser wall or whatever you're planning next. You'd probably try to deport aliens before even saying hello. They'd be too busy laughing at your wall ideas to invade. Walls work, Joe. If they didn't, why do we have walls around the White House, huh? Think about it. Aliens, if they come, they're not getting past me. Space Force was my idea, top tier. Space Force? The same Space Force you made up after binge watching Star Wars. What are you gonna do next? Hire Chewbacca as your Secretary of Defense. Don't give me ideas, Joe. Chewbacca would be a strong candidate. At least he can grow a proper beard. Unlike some of the people I've seen in Washington, no backbone, no hair. And listen, I know Space Force sounds crazy, but who's laughing now? Nobody's laughing, Don. People are just confused. I mean, we've got more pressing issues here on Earth. Like, what are we gonna do about the mess in Congress right now? The government shutdown is closer than you were to winning Georgia. Georgia was stolen, Joe. But yeah, Congress is a mess. You got clowns in there, and that's saying something coming from you. They can't agree on anything, and you got people like Matt Gates running around like it's a circus. Gates, Isn't he the guy who tried to overthrow Kevin McCarthy in that House Speaker drama? Seems like every time I turn around, there's another Republican trying to backstab their own. McCarthy's weak, Joe. If you'd put me in there, we'd have had a budget deal done in a day. But no, Gates is just trying to shake things up. He's got spirit, but he's like a squirrel on Red Bull sometimes, just all over the place. Spirit? More like a loose cannon. The GOP is turning into its own worst enemy. You guys can't keep track of who's on whose side anymore. Well, Joe, you don't even know what day it is most of the time. At least we've got some fire in the belly. You've got people in your party who are just waiting for Bernie to take another nap before they make decisions. At least Bernie has some principles, Don. 
Meanwhile, your party's eating itself alive. It's like watching a reality show, worse than The Apprentice, and you were the host of that. Don't bring up The Apprentice unless you're ready for a ratings lesson, Joe. That show was huge. We had great numbers, way better than anything you've done. Your administration couldn't get an audience if you paid people to watch. Hey, I've got a pretty big following, Don. People tune in when they know I'm going to make sense, not when they're waiting to see which celebrity you're going to fire next. People tuned in to see me, Joe, because I'm a winner. Always have been, always will be. And unlike your debates, mine had ratings through the roof. But back to aliens, if they come, I'm making them sign up for Trump University first. Give them a real education. Yeah, because the aliens are just dying to learn how to bankrupt a casino. Maybe you can teach them how to turn a profit while dodging taxes. That's the real Trump course. Keep it up, Joe. One day you'll understand what it means to actually run something. Until then, keep talking about things you don't know, like galactic economics. Whatever, anyway, easy game. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And you guys better not forget to use our supporter creator code GAMINGPOTUS as we need to get rich.